Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Between Two Urns. It's creepy in here. Here's my grandpa Pedro, my grandma Melissa, and I've been polishing them up. <laughs> All righty, you've seen him, his band folklore. Let's invite Jimmy Hughes into the urn studio. Hey, what's going on, Jimmy? Hey, hey Christian. Wow, I love that whole thing with you had the guys and the and the TV and that was awesome. How did you oh, how yeah. did you think of that? Well, um, I don't really usually play solo, so I figured if I was going to do this, I got to do it with the band, you know. So awesome! I really enjoy that, folks that are in the Zoom chat. You can also ask your questions for <laughs> Jimmy. Ask him whatever you want, and I might pick it. <laughs> Let's start off with, I know Dave Van Kirk, your buddy, he mentioned New York. He mentioned you. How important was New York to a part of your life? Uh, well, you're, I believe you're talking about New York City, but I, yeah. I, it is also a state which I was born in. So it's important for that reason, for sure. Uh, New York City had an important part of my life that is uh, a longer story than I have for right now, but yeah. Okay, right. we'll keep it short then. <laughs> All right, uh, what was a younger Dave Van Kirk like? Was he like, you know, throwing Molotovs? Was he uh, riding bikes? What, what, kind of, what kind of pal was he? Um, <laughs> well, well, Dave and I knew each other. We were adults, so, um, and we were coworkers is how we met. So, um, but he was a great pal. He's pretty much exactly the same as he is now but younger oh <laughs> all right so you just debuted the curse on Bandcamp. what was your inspiration for making this album my inspiration for making this album uh well i'm always writing songs um here and there but uh my cousin um steve who also uh we just saw sing along with me and he um co-wrote a couple of the songs on the album too um he uh, was a big inspiration for it because he was the one that kind of got me off my butt and doing things with recording it so um and also uh um jason hen the drummer who um i mean we recorded those songs a while ago when we started out with drums so it's been a long road so your friends put else you too. to work yeah yeah they said get exactly. off your keister and start jamming and boom, 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 blap. That is exactly it. Yep, and that's what I needed, yeah. Awesome. We have some <laughs> questions from the audience. Crystal asks, uh, Crystal with A, uh, Hernandez, she asks, what would your last meal be? Like the last meal I had or like when I'm dying? Because those are two. Dying? I guess they're probably both pizza, yeah. Mm. When I'm dying, yeah, pizza. And then every day before and after that pizza yeah never mind it's not that hard of a question pizza speaking of pizza are you a fan of meat created in a laboratory uh i think yes i think i am well real meat like you're talking about um like uh clone animals or are we talking about like uh impossible burgers i'm talking about impossible burgers oh yeah fan fan Sure. I've tried them. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Yeah. So, Jimmy, what is your favorite part about making music? Um, I always, to me, the most, the best part about making music is something to do with uh, people that I know. I've always kind of looked at music as being like my, uh, you know, getting together in the field and playing football with your friends or something, you know, something that you do uh, creatively as a, a unit with people that you like. That's the mm -hmm. best part about it. Yeah. Dope. <laughs> All right. If a tornado picked you up, where would you hope that you landed? Oz. Oz. Oz? Oz. Oz. Okay. I thought you said off. Nope. Oz, 100% Oz. All right. Uh, what type of socks do you wear? Are you kind of like a up to your knees kind of guy or you do like to keep it low? I can answer this because I've just bought socks recently. Um, 
So there's the ankle socks, but not the ones that are like super low, the ones that come up a little bit, but not too much. Ah. I don't know or what you better, actually call those. Better aerodynamics. Uh, we have a question from Grizzly Bear. He wants to know, what is your favorite guitar string? My favorite guitar string? Yeah, is it like the, the big thick one or is it like the little ones? Uh, so um, I guess the thick ones, yeah. <laughs> string the whole guitar with just the thick one. Yeah, that's, that's the way to go. <laughs> Gnarly. Uh, would you rather have guns for feet or wheels? For feet? Wheels for feet? Yeah. I would rather have wheels for feet, definitely. Yeah, then you could still play your guitar. Yeah, <laughs> true. So, Jimmy, what is Philadelphia like? Um, It's a city in Pennsylvania. It's on the eastern side of Pennsylvania. And um, it's very, very nice. Nice place to live. Mm, I'll have to visit sometime. I'll bring my urns with me. Lots of history. Jimmy, what on earth is a moog? Um, a moog, which I I could be wrong, but I think it's pronounced moog. So I'm not necessarily correcting you. I'm just saying that I don't really know. Um, is a sort of like a synthesizer. Looks, oh. It's like a keyboard. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's somewhat well renowned for its uh, unique sound. Awesome. So yeah. for this album, what were you looking for in the album art? Um, so this album, uh, the first two albums we put out, I, uh, I did the artwork myself. And then the second, uh, the third one was an artist named Hannah Campbell. On this one, I had an artist that I wanted to work with. Um, her name is Mary Heinemann. And um, so I actually, actually on this one, we started uh, working on the artwork kind of um, along with the songs and, and combining her ideas and my ideas and trying to figure something out, awesome. which is a well, new Jimmy, way for me because I didn't used to think about it that much. <laughs> get ready for the rapid fire. Lemonade okay, or sweet ready. tea? Say it one more time. Lemonade or sweet tea? Lemonade. When is your birthday? No, thank you. Favorite guitar brand? Um, Fender. Favorite ice cream? Um, all ice cream is amazing. How tall are you? Pass. Do you like Philly cheesesteaks? No. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. And finish this line. I've had these feelings before, but wasn't, it wasn't the cure. It was? It's the curse. Hey! Thank you, Jimmy, for being on Between Two Urns. Get your Thanks, My Four Dad t-shirts. Go listen to folklore.